Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding, Pipe and Tubing. Topic number 15, Job Practice. Single V-groove weld, butt joint, 45 degree fixed position, 6G. 8 inch diameter, schedule 60 steel pipe. Objective. To develop skill to produce quality single V-groove welds on Schedule 60 steel pipe in the 6G position, using the gas tungsten arc process to deposit the root and hot pass, and the shielded metal arc process to complete the weld. The finished pipe weld should penetrate to form a flat to 1 seconds inch root reinforcement with complete fusion into the edges of the joint. The face of the weld is composed of a series of overlapped weld beads forming a slightly convex profile similar to the 2G position. Materials 8 inch diameter scheduled 60 steel pipe 6 rings per workpiece. Electrode 1 8 inch diameter 2% thoriated tungsten. 3 32nd inch diameter E7018 and 1 8 inch diameter E7018. Filler metal, 1 8 inch diameter E70S1B. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Equipment, collet and collet body, 1 8 inch diameter. Nozzle, number six, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, pliers, and chipping hammer. Machine settings. Polarity, direct current electrode negative straight polarity. Amperage setting, 90 to 95 for the root pass, and 100 to 110 for the second pass. Gas flow rate, 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, two to three electrode diameters. The workpiece for this topic is prepared and tack welded with the procedure described in topic 11. Be sure to thoroughly wire brush the joint edges and the tack welds prior to beginning the weld to remove contaminants. Secure the workpiece in the 6G position, locating the pipe at a 45 degree angle and fixing it to prevent rotation. This simulates all position plate welding and usually qualifies all other groove welding positions. In preparation for welding the root pass, first check the electrode stick out, adjusting it for a 1 16th inch arc length. Position the torch and filler rod at the 6 o'clock position with the torch held at a 90 degree work angle and a 35 to 45 degree push travel angle. The filler rod is held against the root face at a 10 degree angle. Start the arc and travel up the joint with the cup walking technique. The torch should be moved with enough side to side motion to produce a 3 16 inch wide bead. The filler rod should be held stationary against the root faces. It will be necessary to lower the rod as welding progresses to compensate for its shortening length. The 6 to 3 o'clock position of the pipe is located in a more difficult position for the right-handed welder. It may be easier to weld this portion with a left-handed technique, holding the torch in the left hand and the filler rod in the right. For the left-handed welder, the 6 to 9 o'clock position becomes more difficult and may call for a similar change of hands. Weld from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock for both halves of the pipe and then inspect the weld. 
The bead should be flat to slightly concave with full penetration and no undercut along the edges. The second pass requires an amperage adjustment of 100 to 110 amps. The filler rod should be held at the center of the root bead with the same electrode stick out as before, but the torch should be angled more to the opposite of the direction of travel in order to compensate for the already deposited weld metal. The second bead is deposited with the same technique as used for the first pass. The side to side movement of the torch should be slightly wider to ensure complete fusion into both joint bevels. Again, the right-handed welder may find it easier to use a left-handed technique to complete the 6 o'clock to 3 o'clock portion of the joint. The finished second pass should be flat to slightly concave and completely fuse into both bevels of the joint. At this point, readjust the equipment for welding the remainder of the joint with the shielded metal arc process. The new machine settings are polarity, direct current electrode positive, reverse polarity. Amperage setting, 85 to 110 for the 3 seconds inch diameter E7018 and 110 to 125 for the 1 8th inch E7018. The number of passes required to fill the joint for the 6G position is the same as for the 2G position. The first two passes are deposited with the 3 seconds inch electrode to form an even layer. The first pass in the layer is deposited along the lower joint bevel with a work angle 5 degrees above horizontal. The travel angle will change as you progress from 6 to 12 o'clock. From 6 to 4 o'clock, the travel angle is 5 to 10 degrees drag. As you approach the 4 o'clock position, this angle changes to a 5 to 10 degree push. This push angle is maintained until 2 o'clock, where it again becomes a 5 to 10 degree drag angle. Start the arc at the 6 o'clock position and weld to the 12 o'clock point with a smooth, steady travel speed for both halves of the pipe. The second pass is deposited with a work angle 5 degrees below horizontal and with the same travel angles used for the previous pass. The weld is deposited with the same technique and should combine with the first bead to produce a flat layer of weld metal fully fusing into both sides of the joint. At this point, change to the 1 8 inch diameter electrode and readjust the amperage setting. The next two fill passes are deposited with the same technique used for the previous layer. Both layers combined should evenly fill the joint to within 1 8 inch of the outside pipe surface. The next layer is composed of three beads in order to fill the wider joint space. The first bead in the layer is deposited along the lower joint bevel with the same electrode angles and technique as the previous lower passes. Travel smoothly along, keeping as short an arc length as possible. The second pass is deposited similar to the first, except that the work angle is perpendicular to the joint rather than directing the arc at the joint bevel, weld both halves of the pipe before adding the next pass. The final bead in the layer is deposited along the upper joint bevel with the electrode angled five degrees below horizontal to ensure proper fusion into the joint edge. The finished layer should evenly fill the joint to within 1 16th inch of the outside pipe surface. Once the fill layers are complete, the joint is then capped with a layer of four cover passes. The procedure is similar to the previous three beads. Be sure to melt 1 16th inch of the beveled edge 
to ensure proper fusion. The finished weld should be flat or slightly convex with a face reinforcement of not more than one eighth inch. There should be no overlap or undercut. Inspect the weld and then continue practice.